In this video, I will be going over the functions of the Qubit Electronics NanoRand. The NanoRand is a sample and hold, noise source, and random voltage generator with four switchable algorithms and 4 HP. When internally clocked, the rate knob and range toggle control the NanoRand's global speed. This means that the sampling frequency, random voltages, and gate signals will be clocked at the same rate. The LED will blink at the rate of the clock. It will be as slow as possible when the rate knob is far left and the range toggle is low. It will be as fast as possible when the rate knob is far right and the range toggle is high. This is the sample and hold input. Both audio and control rate signals can be sampled at the rate of either the internal or external clock. The sample and hold output produces the sampled signal. This is the random voltage output. It produces four different types of random voltages depending on which algorithm is chosen via the random algorithm switch. The polarity of each algorithm can be chosen via the unipolar positive bipolar toggle. Each setting has a corresponding color. Magenta indicates the random stepped voltage algorithm. Cyan indicates the random LFO waveforms and frequencies algorithm. Amber indicates the random frequency audio rate square wave algorithm, which can be used as a control source or an audio source. Green indicates the combination of all algorithms. This is the button for the random algorithm switch. When pressed, the NanoRand will proceed to the next random algorithm. This is the gate input for the random algorithm switch. When a gate signal is received, the NanoRand will proceed to the next random algorithm. The internal-external toggle switches between the NanoRand's internal clock and an external clock source. It also changes the behavior of the clock input. When the toggle is up, the NanoRand will run from the internal clock and the clock input will act as a CV input for modulating the clock rate. When the toggle is down, the clock input acts as a gate input for an external clock source. When externally clocked, the gate output produces random gates that are musically derived from the incoming clock. A new rhythmic value is randomly chosen each time the external clock input receives a gate. The rate knob will control the rhythmic probability of the random gates. If the rate knob is far left, the rhythmic values for the random gate output will be limited to half note durations of the incoming clock. As the rate knob is turned to the right, the rhythmic possibilities for the gate output will increase and begin to include smaller, larger, and triplet derivatives of the incoming clock. When the rate knob is far right, each incoming clock signal causes the NanoRand to choose between all available rhythmic values. This is the digital noise output. When internally clocked, the timbre of the noise will be influenced by the position of the rate knob, the range toggle, and the internal-external toggle.
Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more tutorials and patch breakdowns.